What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. Tyson Fury was at the uh, main event between Daniel Dubois and Norman Gordon. Okay, Nathan Gordon, <laughs> Norman Gordon. Nathan Gordon, and that's his cousin, so he was there and... He was, of course, was promoting or, you know, and, um, you know, rooting for his cousin, supporting his cousin. And he was adamant about Jarrell Miller being the next opponent. And I later read an order, article today about Tyson Fury pushing for Jarrell Big Baby Miller despite the drug allegations. You know, in fact, they said drug cheat Jarrell Miller. Look, Jarrell Miller has a big stigma around him. It's like a black cloud that's following him, okay? And the problem is it hasn't been enough time, okay? That's all it is. It takes time. Time takes a lot of things for things to roll over, you know what I mean? And there hasn't been a lot of time. People, that was only, what, four months ago? That he tested positive, if that, um, April, May, June, July. It wasn't, it hadn't even been four months. You know what I mean? Um, he tested positive for three banned substances. Now, obviously, that shows all the shitty things that is wrong with boxing because how is he able to get a, another fight after losing one, losing the biggest opportunity in his career, right? And come to find out, the guy that replaced him ended up victorious against Joshua, which is Andy Ruiz. So that adds the, the, you know, the insult to injury, right? Knowing that could have been you, motherfucker. But after that, you get an opportunity to fight Tyson Fury, the quote-unquote lineal champion of the world, and Tyson Fury's pushing for it. Now... It's that boxing overall should be more stringent. There should be more consequence for what you've done in the sport. Okay. That's the problem. There isn't any, you know, and a lot of people, they're shitting on Jarrell Miller, but Jarrell Miller had tested positive for three banned substances. I don't give a shit how many, I don't care if it was a hundred, a hundred or one. It doesn't matter because you had something in your system that shouldn't have been there. Right. You were injecting something, consuming something, or some type of way, putting it in your body, up your ass. I don't care. You were putting something in your body that didn't supposed to be there, plain and simple. And because you were doing that, the rules that apply are not enough, okay? And the problem is they haven't made an example out of someone, okay? That's the problem. It goes all the way back to Antonio Margarito, Jose Resto, those kind of guys, you know, Antonio Margarito should never been able to fight again, plain and simple. You know, these guys, if they were fined 500000 plus, oh, you can't fight for two years, they'll never do that shit ever again. But six months, no fine, slap on the wrist, nice vacation for you. You don't have to do shit for six months. You know, you're a boxer. You should have money on reserve anyhow, unless you're broke. Just hope you don't have a drug problem or a gambling problem. I mean, an illegal drug problem. I mean, a street illegal drug problem, right? Other drugs. If you don't have that, you're good. You're, you're away for six months. Look at Canelo. He had a damn cosmetic surgery on his knee while he was gone, right? That didn't bother him. They just gave him a vacation away from all the bullshit, you know? And he went back his business as usual and collected his check. So you can't blame Jarrell Miller at the end of the day, right? You got to blame the boxing uh, commissions, right? That's going to a lot of people are like, oh, well, how could he do that? How could Canelo do it? You know what I mean? How can anyone else do it that tested positive? Luis Ortiz tested positive. You know, Fernando Vargas tested positive. Roy Jones tested positive. Sugar Shane Mosley tested positive. OK, like this isn't something new. And obviously this is what this tells me. If these drugs, if, if 
if these guys are popping like this, they're testing positive, and these are, look, these are Hall of Fame names I mentioned, right? And if they're giving them slaps on the wrist, that means they're actually condoning the drug use, okay? Because if they weren't condoning it, they would put more stringent uh, repercussions on it. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't have this type of shit that, oh, yeah, six months, okay. Oh, yeah, you got to sign up for VADA when you get back, though. Make sure that don't happen again. You know, no fine, no, at least a year or two. It really should be two, like Polly Malinaji, you know, said, yeah, it should be two years and a fucking fine. Yeah, that will stop people from doing it. They'll think twice about, nah, man, I ain't going to take this shit for this fight. <laughs> nah, man, I can't, I, I can't not fight for two years if I get popped. You know, I'm going to ride this out. You know, that's what you got to ingrain in their mind to have them thinking and make them think twice or three times before taking anything illegal, you know, or banned. Okay, so Jarrell Miller, I'm happy for him. And I I don't hate on Jarrell Miller like that. I know he what he did was shitty. Okay, but how people oh man, he put someone's life in danger. You put your life in danger when you step in the fucking ring. Okay, you're getting hit upside your head. Okay, you're getting attacked, people. So let's stop with the, like, let's pretend, oh, let's adding insult to injury. Enough people have done it. Again, they're condoning it, okay? So don't bash this one guy. Don't let him be the poster child for all of these motherfuckers' fuckeries and and, 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 and drug use, okay? Because it's more than just him. It's bigger than Jarrell Miller, despite his size. It's bigger than him, you know? So you can't hate him, hate the system, right? Can't hate the player, hate the game, right? So that's what I say about it. Now, as far as Tyson Fury, you know, I know they're friends. I know he wants to give him an opportunity, but that just shows something about his character. Why is he pushing for a Jarrell Miller fight? If Jarrell Miller was like one of the latest guys that tested positive, right? Why would you even want your name attached to that right now? You know what I mean? Why would ESPN be cool with that? You know, they just gave you $103 million on a contract. So why would they want to like, why would they even want to be associated with Jarrell Miller being a cheat? So that shows you a lot about that network. That means they condone it too. You see what I'm saying, guys? So you can't, again, you can't be mad at Jarrell Miller if they let him get away with the shit. You know, he might do it again. Well, I'll get another six months. I'll fight Fury and then, then sign up to fight another guy and do it again. Right. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Tyson Fury taking on Jarrell Miller, about the boxing commissions with this drug use. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.